Hi everyone, and this is a video of how I prepare my horse's mane so they look really good at shows. This is Double Agent's mane after a winter of growth. I trim it with scissors, holding the scissors at 45 degrees and combing the hair down so it's as straight as possible. I don't pull my horse's manes, I don't want them too short because I want the thickness and the bulk to make really nice round plaits. This is the finished result. This is what I find to be the perfect length for plaiting. I like the soft finish you get from cutting at 45 degrees. This is my plaiting kit. I have elastics, thread to match the colour of the mane. I use darning needles with the thread. My trusty comb that I've had for years. A sharp pair of scissors and my butterfly clips to hold the mane out the way that's not being plaited. I keep the, the needles in a sponge to keep them safe. To start plaiting, first of all divide the mane in a straight line on the neck so that you can then use the butterfly clip to hold the rest out of the way. I then spray it with plaiting spray before combing down ready to break into three parts. I divide the section into three and then plait down. Loose at the base so I get the bulk which enables the plait to sit up nicely on the neck and then tighter down the body of the plait so it holds neatly into a roll when I turn it up. I plait down and then when I put an elastic on the end and turn the bottom under so that I have a neat little loop on the end ready for sewing. Securing with the elastic band and turning under is the hardest thing for my arthritic fingers to do. I like to have a long piece of thread through the needle and then tied into a loop so that I can then thread it through the loop at the bottom of the plait made by the elastic and pull back to secure into the bottom of the plait. I then turn that first bottom piece of the plait down up on itself so I get a little ball at the bottom of the plait. That will make the centre of the round part of the plait right tucked up tight into the base of the mane. From there I can roll it into the base of the mane and create the golf ball shape that I'm after. Once I have the shape I want, I sew backwards and forwards through the plait to secure and then cut the thread. I start off the four log plait by doing a small French plait before plaiting down tight to the end of the mane. I secure it with an elastic and then using thread turn it back into the base of the plait at the top. I sew down the length keeping it nice and flat so it sits symmetrically on the horse's forehead. Once that's done, I can turn it back on itself again and make a small ball, which I'll then sew to become the finished plait. Or, if I'm going to be putting a fly hat on, I'll make sure it's really flat so I don't get a lump sitting on the underside of the hat, making it stick up funny. This is the finished result. I like to use my cyclosage machine to keep the horses relaxed while I'm plaiting, especially at shows. Here you can see double agents plaits at the national championships in Stoneleigh. The chunky plaits really show off Darcy's neck. Join us in the next video for exercises to improve your centre lines.